Hello, my name is Eldon Matlick. I'm the Horn Professor here at the University of Oklahoma. I'm going to be giving you a short clinic today over the Getchell Etude number 92 from his second method book for Horn. First, some general comments. We have a qualifying mark here at the very beginning, and it's a word. It's geocoso. Geocoso means jolly or with good humor. So you're going to have to play this with a little bit of lightness and with a, with a little bit of fun with this. So it needs to be more dance-like. And also, I feel that it really works well if you give a strong one. One, two, three, one, two. Sort of, sort of jolly, a little cheeky as a matter of fact. Now let's get on to some technical information. We need for you to use a very nimble tongue release, very light. Now when we talk about light or heaviness with the tongue, sometimes it's a little bit, uh, a little bit unusual to say, well, how do you make a tongue light? How do you make it heavy? It all has to do with the release speed. So with this, you need to use a very nimble and fast release of the tongue, more like a D, 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 rather than a T, 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 which is gonna be a little bit more sluggish and a little bit more enunciation. So back off just a little bit. Think of if uh, you're uh, going to be testing to see if an iron is, is hot enough, so you wet your finger and just do a quick test on the, on the hot iron. It's more of a pullback than, a, than pushing on. So it's more like a rebound. So that's what you need to do with the tongue. D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D and that will help sustain the momentum through this particular exercise. The next thing we have to worry about is musical motion, letting notes travel towards a destination, getting more of a perpetual motion. As a rule you need to make shorter notes lead to the next longer note. For instance, in the first measure, this middle group of sixteenths lead to three. Then in the next measure, the four sixteenth notes lead to three. So there's always this momentum going forward. <laughs> So notice it <laughs> didn't miss a note in there. But anyway, you get the general idea how things sort of move ahead. Now, one thing that you can do to help you with this is slur the 16th notes. That way, you get the feeling of moving forward. Then, when you get that, add the tongue. Then, we get to longer notes here. We have a series of eighth notes. And make these nice and bouncy. As far as speed goes, you could probably move this a little faster. But it shouldn't be frantic. So use your own judgment as to how fast you want to do this. But it should always remain more of a dance-like character, in my opinion. So let's 
listen to this exercise in its entirety. Thank <laughs> you. 